Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this short video, we're going to add a door to the NEP2 software. Assuming the software is installed, we need to start the software. Oops, just so we can have a look at the situation. So log in, use your password. It's going to come up with the, um, the system tree. So if we can click on doors, we can see if any doors are available to us at the moment, any spare doors. So if we click on doors, you can see there's nothing there. So what we need to do in the background, in the system configuration, we need to add a door. So what we'll do is we'll go to all apps in the Windows menu, go to Net2. And within there, we'll see um, configuration utility. So let's click on that. Put in your same password as before and click OK. Then we go to TCIP nodes. We're going to detect if there's any doors available on the network. This is a system scanner. It will find any doors that are available. So it's found the door we're looking for. And you can see there it's assigned it an IP address. So it's good practice to turn DHCP off. So if we go to IP address configuration, the next tab, and use the following IP address, let's tick that. And that way we're going to give it a fixed IP address. So if there's ever power cuts or there's problems down the road, the system will always revert to the same IP address. So it'll work smoothly with the software. Software. So we we'll apply that. Do we want to do that? Yes. It's going to set that. If you were near the control, you'd hear it give it a double beep. So now let's press apply. And that way it's going to um, apply the, the system settings. What that does is it will turn the server off in the background, which will make the main Net2 software stop running. Um, but it will restart. So it's restarted now. Let's just make sure it's working. We'll click on ping. And that will show you the device is responding. Press OK. As you can see there, the software has stopped responding. So close it, restart, and then log in. Now we'll go back to the doors tag. And we just click on doors, not the plus sign. And you can see the door we've just added is there, available now. So we don't need to click on anything other than the doors. So new door, you can do that if you like. But what you need to do is just press the little plus sign there. Then click on the door itself. So first things, let's change this to a name we can recognize and find quickly. So main door. Is it in a door group? We've not set groups up. Unlock the door during. Do we want to unlock the door get free access? Typically not, so we'll say at no time. What type of reader have we got in here? Is it standard Paxton reader, a P50? If so, um, I mean, there are other types to choose from, but if it's a Paxton reader, that's fine. Is it, it could be a KP50, you know, the keypad and prox reader. And what type of fob or token are we going to use? So if it's a Paxton reader, we would use a Paxton token. If it was a Wigan reader, for instance, though, it would be a Wigan 26-bit format. So we'll leave this as Paxton, leave it as default. Next, the operating mode is token only. If we change this to desktop, you can use it as a, an enrollment reader if you want, if you, if you want to enroll people quickly without having to give them an enrollment reader. Have a look at reader 2 settings, the alarm settings, if you want to change anything. Events, this is what's happened. You can see this is something I've been using today. Integration with the alarm, if you need to do that. And access rights. Again, this is the one I use for testing, so it just shows you the cards I've added and deleted. So that's all done. Press apply, and there we go. We've added the door to Net2. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.